handing out candy. Did y'all see the title? Wait, did y'all see what the title said, bro? Wait, did y'all see what the title said? Yeah, okay. Well, good. I will. Fuck it. I'm sure somebody in the chat, chat saw this. To the fucking kids, you know what I mean? Because I love kids, you know what I mean? We all know about the now infamous YouTuber, enormous dingy pedophile 445. Bro, he just saying the words, man. I'm kind of scared to watch this video. He ain't censoring it out or nothing. What he has done. Look at I haven't heard that that sound in so long. Him being a pedophile. <laughs> oh, you don't? <laughs> For real? Uh, oh shit, nigga, sit down. Let me, let me, let me, let me speak again. EDP four four five. The four four five is this weight in kilograms. I did not know that nigga was built like a sar bomb went off in a suit of vibranium. <laughs> what sort of shirt is that, my nigga? You probably got enough X's on that tag to make Scott Pilgrim too big, fella. God, this nigga looks like a failed fusion dance. Yo, chill, bro. Belief. This is not me. why I clicked the video, bro. I thought you were gonna tell us why this check ghost. <laughs> led me to believe he was average fat. Like, this nigga is bizarre fat. This nigga has titties on his back. Man, man, man anyway. EDP445 has been caught soliciting minors for the sixth time. She's oh my god, EDP, like she's 14, like she's 15. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck, nigga, if the bitch is one. Motherfucker, like, ain't shit free in this motherfucker. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not part of the, uh, Eat that pussy community, but you telling me you let this grown ass man get away with this shit six times? What's up with these influencers That's needing two I'm hands saying. to count the amount of children they tried to fuck? How did it take this long for someone to hold him accountable? EDP's fall from grace wasn't really a fall. He's one of those social media pariahs people propped up on a pedestal because he was the funny meme man. Everything he said was so absurdist, you just assumed it was a character, right? And lo and behold, those were his actual sentiments. This man is 30. Sending his girthy shits in cock. He sent a shit he took after eating oh, an entire Oh, yeah, don't fucking remind me, man. What he thought was a 13-year-old. Two days after they met with the intention to fuck her. I, 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 I'm sorry, but, but this guy is actually the worst. He's actually that bad. Actually that fucking disgusting. Again, I'm sorry. Usually I try to be fair, but but no, this, this dude is a demon. I feel like there doesn't need to be a discussion about this. This shit is disgusting. Like, wholly disgusting. I've never cursed this fucking much in the beginning of my videos, but the visceral disgust I have for this. You're not getting monetized, you by the way. You are more than double her age, sending her your scat firearms. Oh, God. And penis. And he's coaching her on how to have sex, telling her what cuddling is, saying how he wants to be the first cop. Oh, it's so crazy because, like, he doesn't even have, like, his channel's gone, so you can't even go to his channel to see the video. You have to get it from other people. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Our video, our video hit, like, 1.3 million views, bro. Hey, bro, you know? Thanks for outing him. And thanks for the content, bro, I guess, bro. Fuck she's ever had 1.7 now god damn like bro you are the poster boy of incels you are the incel don a cape and diaper nigga you are the definitive trope of they the were incel. probably hyped i don't want my too. virgins out there thinking i'm shaming them for not having sex but like yeah this guy not a good guy the problem i'm having with the situation however is not the conduct of edp well, yeah, what he did was fucking disgusting. But I'd also like to argue there's always a bigger fish. And nothing's fishier than a nigga who pretends to be a paragon for club money. Chet Goldstein is a self-proclaimed individual Here we who, go. quote, unquote, caught EDP being a predator and subsequently uploaded the entire engagement to his YouTube channel. So about Chet Goldstein, nobody knew him. He's a new face. We just met him. I hate to see this in the black community, man. A cycle of pain and hatred. A nigga gets killed. The victim is avenged. The Avenger kills. It gets killed. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a whole cycle. And then the people glorifying this shit like it doesn't damage us. We need to break the cycle. Bro, that's damn near impossible. Dude, he has a decoy. Read the interactions out on his channel and uploads the full confrontation of EDP. Several red flags popped up with how they conducted this. Number one, he says at the end of the video, he delayed the release of the video until he was 100% sure it was fully monetized so he could maximize profit. The oh, I didn't even hear that. I mean, but I'm not surprised by that. But I didn't even know. I didn't even know he said that. He really said that? Well, we didn't even. Like, right when it was over, we just kind of clicked off the video. That alone tells me your true intentions in the pursuit of your actions. Number two, look at bro's description, dog. This is one hashtag documentary of our many documentaries and pranks soon to come. Famous YouTuber EDP445 caught meeting 13-year-old girl in Bakersfield. Hashtag, hashtag famous. famous. 
This nigga didn't post not one hotline, one help center, one petition, one charity, one Facts. fucking organization that can contribute Facts. to actual progress. Instead, he incorporates hashtags to boost viewership and plugs in all of his own social medias. Damn. He is doing this for clout. Exposed. But if that wasn't fucking bad enough, guess what? He might also be a hypocrite. I can't believe I'm fucking saying this. This is how you know this shit is wild. But Twitter is actually a credible fucking source. It's crazy, right? Using by the name of Camel Jockey, somehow, I don't know how this nigga did this, but bravo, gathers an overwhelming amount of evidence to reveal that Chet Goldstein is a racist, homophobic, misogynistic, possibly pedophilic, and depending on whether or not Goldstein is his real last name, anti-Semitic deviant, who has used real underage sexual content. But let me repeat that. This nigga used is real underage sexual content to lure pred somebody said he was taking out the competition <laughs> chill bro chill Litters. huh i need you all to sit through this list with me okay because this shit is fucking wild as long as i'm not alone bro out of respect to the please tell me you censored this shit right uh, especially if he's saying n-word please tell me he did original poster i have to issue their trigger warnings of pedophilia and vitriol racism and homophobia i never seen these videos <clears throat> allow a young nigga to list a compilation of self-admitted footage <clears throat> so for starters we have this gym miss him just saying the n-word what a wonderful way to break the ice dude you can't say fucking ba -ba -ba. live oh, stream it's bad, dude the ba -ba. we're gonna get offended and report us oh what you the right fuck is wrong with you this guy just said racist creep. Oh. Uh, Where are you, black? Yeah. It's probably a fucking angry Baba No boy. way! Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Nigga said I'm late like I'm a fan of this nigga. You the fan, bro? I ain't know nothing about this. I just knew he was he was like on that pedophilic stuff and I seen that he said one like one racist thing, but I was like, hey, it's, it's whatever, bro. I don't, like the niggas racist, just pack him up. I don't care, but bro, like, yo, this was on a live stream and nobody like what? Admitted footage. Dude, you can't say fucking ba -ba -ba. live oh, stream. It's bad, nigga. dude. The niggas ba -ba. are gonna get offended and report us. Oh, what you right. Fuck is wrong with you? This guy just said racist creep. Oh, uh, where are you, black? Yeah. Probably a fucking angry Baba boy. Oh, you right. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you. This nigga makes Papa John look like Abraham Lincoln. Oh, are you? <laughs> Did you know that that there were some black guys in the squadron that went on the beach even though they can't swim? Very cool. Oh fucking Baba boy. Oh shit, I said that in front of 216 people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you uh, know. I'd rather have him as president than Donald Trump. Hey, I yeah. Bro, you know, Donald Trump is going to jail. That's why. Facts. Facts. He's going straight to jail because the New York, um, New York Department of Taxation and Finance are going to get his ass for evading those taxes. Yeah. They don't care who you are. They got Al Capone for the same reason. Al Capone was. Facts. That's what I'm saying. Playing around. Yeah, he finna yeah. he finna be right there with Al Sharpton, huh, for both evading taxes, huh? Cause Al, Yo. Al Sharpton, he really he really don't even like us niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? He like he, he be evading his taxes too and shit. You know what I'm saying? Chet also enjoys joking about raping children with random Whoa. strangers. Tee hee. I have a three year old in my basement that's like vi that's like lacking vitamin D. I need to give this to her. It's my birthday, so I'm being generous for one day to her. What? I provide her with plenty of D, just not the vitamin part. Oh, no, okay, what the fuck? Either. Oh, really? Not it's a child. Well, I was tired of being a virgin, so what oh. the fuck? Was this supposed to be like a prank video or something? Fuck. Wow. Yeah. Using a 13-year-old decoy for we his saw this own one. pleasure. What kind of spy versus spy Dexter shit is this? You know that uh, piece of cloth on your upper okay, body? I heard we saw this. Yeah. I don't need to see Predator. this again. Yeah. Okay. A yeah. student interaction between him and a fan. <clears throat> Y'all removed that screenshot real fast because you realized how hurt you came off. I'm crying. Real professional PR team. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, can't wait for the channel to get purged again. I was told to remove it by my boss. Fuck you. Exactly. And all those EDP dick suckers. Listen to your boss, wage slave. Go fuck yourself, Baba boy. Oh 
man. And if that wasn't enough, look at this lovely tribute. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Man, what a what a wonderful. Hey yo! Oh, here, here's 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 the gym. This is literally like this is literally how people in in fucking chats be and on YouTube be, comment sections be talking about it was just a troll, bro. I'm it's literally just ironic humor. Oh my god, it's just dark humor. When did you become so sensitive? Okay, hold on. Somebody said, somebody said it's kind of funny. All right, bro. If that's the humor you into, that's cool. But uh, you got to get the fuck out of here, bro. Ah! Bam. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my chat, you weirdo. You weird ass nigga, bro. The chances of finding a Jew in the Nazi high command. <sighs> is higher than finding a dateable girl on a dating app. 99% of girls on dating apps are red box girls, meaning they're easy to access. You rent them for a night and then leave it for the next guy. Damn, nigga, you are fucking miserable. This is what happens when you reach your level cap at 15 years old. I swear to fucking God. Here's him admitting to using real minors in his decoy picks, which, by the way, is super fucking illegal. Okay, so I'll be honest about the decoy picks. So one of the... So one of the decoy picks, the Hispanic boy that we use, that's my cameraman's little cousin. And the white decoy that we use, he's 17. And yeah, I met him on PS4. We're playing Madden together. And he said he was down to do it. So yeah, that's where I get the decoy pictures from. How old, how old is the Latin guy, the kid? He is 16. So you have two minors that you use as decoys. Yes. Here's him admitting he uses his own underage nudes to catch predators. It's in a folder, and I took that shit in high school, <laughs> and that's the one I sent the predators. It's called Emergency Dick Pic. Donated five dollars. I am Mexican, and I am mad. This fool being racist AF for where he located ill smoke is pack. Um, me and Cassidy caught. I sent it on the toilet, and you know my my legs are like pretty fucking big, so like. So, you know, my freaking, I was seeing the picture like this, and my legs were in the way. So I literally had to freaking spread my legs and move forward. And, you know, I've got my, like, wee wee oh, right here. Oh, a singer. <laughs> and for the finale, he simultaneously mocks Jewish people and George Floyd in the same fucking skit. You look like one of those Pakistani women that get an education against the government's will, then end up getting a acid attack for it. Oy vey. Shalom, do you like black lives? Oy vey, I think black lives are very important, okay. My uncle's an owner of an NBA team, and how the fuck can he run a successful NBA team with no black people, okay? How, what's your, wh wh why do you like black lives, okay? Depending on the George Floyd incident, okay? Uh, I feel like what they did was unjust. Oy vey. I feel like we need to Very good. Well, that's why... I, I think he thinks he's a lot funnier. Than he, I think he thinks he's really, really funny, bro. I mean, like when we watched the video, y'all see how many times he attempted to squeeze them jokes in, bro. Every joke did not land. Every single one of them jokes did not land. That's why I'd say I'm a, I'm a big advocate of cardiovascular exercise, so nobody can say I can't breathe. Okay, so everybody's in good shape. Okay. What a wonderful, well-adjusted human being, who I'm sure is loved by both parents simultaneously. Um. Here's what people aren't realizing, and after reading that, I think I need to emphasize this even more. This dumb, racist, misogynistic, possibly pedophilic piece of dog shit just made it 100 times harder to actually convict EDP. The level of negligence and incompetence was bad enough with the interview being a jumbled mess of shit talk, false truths, and deformative slandering. And even though EDP's big ass got bitched out of his glasses and dignity, I need you to understand something. When Chris Hansen and Dateline NBC expose people, they have a sophisticated network of legal people and policemen to coordinate the arrests as well as the complicated legal work. The niggas are professionals who have thoroughly planned approaches to these sting operations through video and audio confessions, a meticulous collection of chat logs that are purposely worded and manipulated in a way to where there is little to no plausible deniability or subsequent denial of any willful action of the situation. Despite that level of professionalism, out of the 286 people who have been caught on that show, only 170 were ever sentenced. That is a 40% conviction rate despite having a slew of professionals handling the cases. And get this, every single case in the state of Texas was thrown out entirely due to 
amateur involvement. DA refuses mm. to prosecute catch a predator cases. Jeez. A Texas district attorney is refusing to prosecute. Yeah, the whole entire, I mean, from the start, they were saying that they were getting, they were mixing the ages up and he was just saying fat jokes the whole time. And they were like cutting each other off, stumbling over words and things like that. It was just, bruh. Any of the men caught by Dateline NBC show to catch a predator, saying many of the cases were tainted by the involvement of amateurs. Certainly these people should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, but the fact that this was all Don done for Pepe television Chula cameras. Donated $5. At least CC unit valid. Yeah, CC unit is, is, is valid, but I mean that other guy, I don't know why he collabed with him, bro. I don't know why he collabed with him, bro. Raises questions, said Mayor Brett Baldwin. Date I mean, it was a big case. Th this, this was a big case, so he's probably like, you know, why not or whatever, but. Line has made primetime entertainment out of contacting would-be child molesters over the internet, luring them to a meeting place. I like CC Unit, and then there's this other guy. He's like, I think he's like Canadian or something like that. He does a good job too. And videotaping their human. And he's the one that makes them call like their closest relatives or something. Affiliating confrontations with reporter Chris Hansen. Dateline works with an activist group called Perverted Justice, which supplies adults who troll internet chat rooms, posing as underage boys and girls, and try to collect incriminating sex talk. City manager Craig Sherwood approved such an operation in this well-to-do community of 11,000 after being approached by Dateline and Perverted Justice, but he never informed the mayor or the city council. When an assistant prosecutor from a neighboring county committed suicide due to being caught on the show, this was said about his case. Oh. His sister, Patricia Conrad, told the city council that police acted as a judge, jury, and executioner that was encouraged by an out-of-control reality show. Oh, damn. So that's why... That's why... Damn, that shit. Ugh. Oh, yeah, Anxiety War. He's fired, too. He's funny. He reminds me. He's like a Dexter pedo catcher, bro. Um, but damn, bro. I mean, that's really outside of their... like. That's outside of their control, bro. Because it's like, I mean, they were still doing the wrong thing trying to meet up with these minors. And it's not like they said, you should just do, do this, do that. Like, bro, you he chose to do that on his own, bro. Then, last month, Collin County District Attorney John Roach dropped all charges. He said that in 16 of the cases, he had no jurisdiction since neither the suspects nor the decoys were in the county during the online chats. As for the rest of the cases, he said neither police nor NBC could guarantee the chat logs were authentic and complete. The fact that somebody besides police officers were involved is what makes this case bad, said Roach, who was informed of the sting in advance but did not participate. So you mean to tell me only if professionals cops... had been running the show, they would have done a much better job than being at the beck and call of outsiders. Before they even attempted to drop this video, this slimy ball of worthless flesh. He only sucks at night. Queer. <laughs> you guys look like kind of Dracula. Hey, Let's Chris. Suck. Chris, you know what you need to do with your life after this? End it. Purposely delayed it to make sure it was fully monetized so he can make profit. During the altercation, he mocks EDP, saying jokes like my 600 pound life, fake calling the police debate reactions, and lying about credentials to force a confession. Not only that, but the very basis of the operation, the exchange between him and the decoy, was initiated by the decoy. Your old account messaged him as a fan saying, hey, I love your YouTube. He's like, oh, thanks. And we just liked his, liked his comment. That's it. And then two days later, he donated $5. First time donating shout out to OGS in the chat. Shout out to you, shout out to you. Messages us like initiating conversation. No, let me correct you on that. You actually, the decoy itself actually approached first. It wasn't in a comment section then then EDP took to the private conversation. You literally approached him. Which he lied about or incorrectly recited on the news, further damning the plausibility of the evidence and guarantees that this is a textbook case of entrapment. Yeah, we clearly saw that she had messaged him first in the chat logs. Meaning the conversation itself and this fucking interview will be immediately dismissed in any court of law. If it wasn't for the sheer guilt EDP had at the moment. My chat in OBS is literally frozen. I, it's literally frozen, bro. 
moment of the encounter to where he haphazardly confessed to committing any of the actions he was being accused of and simply walked off or even had the common sense to realize no 13 year old wants to fuck a morbidly obese 30 year old man who sends her his rancid shit. He would have gotten away with it totally scot-free. People already had doubts as to whether or not these were even legitimate claims against him. If it weren't for the fact he did this shit five other fucking times, mm -hmm. it would basically be EDP's word with 2.2 million subs versus the word of this nigga. Dude, you can't yeah. say fucking nigger on the live stream. Oh, it's, man, nigga. Dude, the niggers are gonna get offended and report us. What EDP, fuck, unfortunately, man? is a serial predator. And while he was just an Eagles fan dookie man, it was a level of assumed authenticity that was otherwise refreshing in the landscape of heavily audited personalities. I feel the reason why he got so big is because people felt he was a person. Not a CCCCCC donated $5. Anxiety war fire, but go check his Insta. I already know uh, about him. A corporation, not a brand, a network, not even a content creator. Just a nigga freely expressing himself on his channel. I can only imagine the betrayal a lot of his most loyal followers must feel. And niggas really had his back too, bruh. Knowing that the person that was representative of his videos ultimately wasn't him. And what I was he crying about here? Cause I see people, people literally have been farming views. People have literally been farming views, uh, views by um, using this as like the thumbnail and saying he issued an apology or some shit. The Eagles lost, and he—he he was really an Eagles. Like it was really that deep to him. Oh, they said. Oh, they said that it was because the Eagles lost. Oh, his mom passed. Oh, damn. I can resonate with that. Chad Goldstein is an opportunistic piece of shit who saw this man who clearly needed more than exposure, not for the individual who's in dire need of coercion to get actual healing, but as a paycheck opportunity, while in ironic fashion being just as, if not fucking worse than EDP. I am not defending the actions of EDP. While I can understand the human element of it, the inhuman abomination that was his motivations and intent clearly displayed in those DMs is highly deplorable. It needs to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But personally, him and Chet Goldstein both need to get fucking eradicated. No shit, EDP should still be in prison. Stop posting that shit, you dumb fuck. He literally just said he's not defending him off the internet we cannot take one entity's channel down see the overwhelming evidence against another entity and allow them to soar to the same status and power as far as edp goes and this goes for anyone if you are at a point in your life where your sense of self identity and or stability is so pitifully low you're even remotely tempted to commit to deplorable actions to distract yourself my nigga get help EDP 445 Thanks. is likely the consequence of unchecked trauma and emotional instability. You don't get to 500 plus fucking pounds talking to children at 30 years old being an emotionally stable individual. I'm sorry you fucking don't. EDP 445, instead of going through the proper channels of healing, likely used his fame and notoriety to circumvent the very real lack of satisfaction and wholeness he had in his own life he likely has mental illnesses that have gone undiagnosed and as a result has devolved into the state he is in now and while i cannot relate to the deplorable and disgusting shit he said and sent in that dm so you be having to you have to emphasize shit like that because there's dumb motherfuckers like example as that like that one person be in the chat that will just try to find ways to just come at you for even talking about this shit i'm actually did it like shut the fuck up you bum bitch I can absolutely relate to the loneliness, insecurity, emotional trauma, and lack of self-esteem leading someone to find external sources of validation. When I say get help, I don't just mean if your moonlighting is a fucking pedophile. I'm talking about if there's a crowd you shouldn't be fucking with, a person you shouldn't be talking to, drugs that shouldn't be in your system, a dick you shouldn't be sucking, a pussy you shouldn't be fucking. At one point, I was running so hard away from myself, I got into a relationship I shouldn't have been in, and they cheated on me two months in. God damn. As a matter of fact, I'm high right now. Trust me. I fucking get it. I question myself in everything I do daily. Everybody goes through Those it, thoughts, man. that darkness that exists inside all Everybody of us, going the through negative some emotions shit. and <laughs> Aqua said, is he okay? Attributes that you lock away into your subconsciousness are unfortunately there. And that is fucking okay. It is okay if you fuck up. 
As long as your fuck ups don't have any overwhelming trauma or effect on the people around you, it is human, bro. And Pick I feel like some I feel like some people need to hear that because like that it, that's literally why people's form of attention is like so desperate where they go in chat saying stupid shit in hopes of getting noticed by a mod or me just to get banned just to feel like they're still alive and they're still worth something oh my god i've been noticed like some of y'all seek that attention so fucking bad seek just acknowledgement for doing something like the people who spam them dicks or shit in the chat and get a high get a good feeling off of seeing everybody in the chat go cock, 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 cock. boobs 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 they'll be like yeah i did that oh my god it's because of me get help my nigga like l get help something is actually wrong with you to to do that as a human it's weird bro it's like actually weird Pick yourself i don't up. know what's get going to help you need facts apologize who you need to facts, before bro. you end up like ed fucking p facts because so because it's gonna be pretty soon to where the chat's reactions to your bullshit or you getting banned or timed is not gonna be enough and you're gonna have to do even more shit to just just to feel affection or attention or some type of acknowledgement bro relax bro calm down calm the fuck down bro and it be y'all young as hell so y'all think it's not gonna happen oh that can never be me wait till them years start coming in and you get older and you really start feeling alone bro shit's gonna get worse because you're gonna have access to more shit because you're older thank god you only have access to your little fucking phone that your mom probably pays for your minutes but even then that's still that's still bad because y'all niggas be on weird shit bro down the fucking rabbit hole you're willing to traumatize children in some desperate bid to circumvent your own miserable fucking existence if there was ever a time i was truly being myself with y'all this is that time this has been arch cj i wish you all a good morrow and i'm off for the time being that's his channel that's his channel man make sure y'all check him out bro uh this was a good video this was an absolutely banger video and he kind of he he put me onto a lot of things a lot of extra things that i didn't know i didn't see a lot of those videos of this chet goldstein guy bro i didn't i didn't see a lot of those videos but damn bro and like yo what he was saying is true bro like go get help i'm not even joking when i say that shit i'm not playing like some of y'all literally some people seek attention so much to the point where it's actually out of hand that the links that people will go in order to feel like they are doing something with their life. In order to feel accomplishment, bruh. I don't know, man. Link the channel in the chat. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, let me, hold on. I think Ricky had texted. I don't know, man. Uh, let me, Shut